Hi there, let's take a look at AnyType Daily Journal. I have the AnyType app open and at the bottom right corner, I'm gonna select the help question mark icon and select any experience gallery. This will open up in a separate browser and any experiences are the same as templates. They're just pre-made to help you get started with the app faster. Okay, once you select open an app, it's going to have a pop-up menu and I'm going to expand this. When you click the install button, it will give you a choice of where to put this experience. I like to put it in a new space instead of the other one so that I know that I like it before I put it in my original space. Okay, so it's installing and at the bottom right corner, again, you can click go to space and the home page is the same, it's just blank. So I actually want to get rid of this in my favorites uh, menu here. So just remove that. And then I want to open up this daily journal and go to the top right three dots and you will see add to favorites. Select that and now you can see it's now in my favorites widget. Okay, so this daily journal is a set and it has an object type called daily journal. Down here, uh, we're going to see a card view and if you, you can't edit this, you click on it and then it will pop up in a new screen where you can edit. So this page, um, you can add a new entry through the plus button or with the new button here and I'm gonna use the plus button and it already says date, which means there is a template associated with it so that it's pre-filled out kind of like a form. And if I go back to this main page here, um, let's add a new view and call this a grid so that we can see all the objects that are here and edit it in a table view. Now here you can see there's all the different relations. I'm also going to show a couple more that are already attached to this. One is creation date, and then I'm also going to look for last modified date. Today's date is January 9th, 2024, and I'm using AnyType beta version 0.37.3 desktop. There is a known bug where the creation date from a template is not updating to today's date. It's staying the same as it was in the default template. So if I go here to show templates, and let's edit this date here, edit template, and let's look at the relation, so the triangle in the top right. And you can see that the creation date for this template was September 29th, 2023, and it's not updating to the current date for today, which is January 9th. So here's um, today is actually January 9th, and you can see that the creation date is staying the same. So for this month, I want to make filters for January and also for February. Right now, I'm going to just add January so you can see uh, what this month is supposed to be showing. And then you want to select filter. So under filter, if you select new, the default is going to be name, but just select the three dots on the right and you can select any other relation to filter by. So I'm selecting last modified date and under all, you can change this to be within, and then it gives you some options. I'm going to select current month. So now it should only show me anything that was last modified in January. Sorry, I'm going to put the creation date and last modified date just so you can see what's on there. Now I'm gonna create another new view and I'm gonna call this February. And again, let's go through how to add this. We're going to make it a gallery view. So it looks like January, a card view. 
and then go to the view settings. Let's select filter, select new filter, change the default from name to last modified date and change all to is within. Okay, and then f instead of today, I want it to be next month. Okay, so that's good. And then I'm going to edit this to say next month. So I remember what filter I put on here. Okay, so for next month, nothing should show because I haven't added anything, added anything for February, but for January, it does show. And then the grid view shows everything, right? So there's no filter at all. So it should show all of my daily journal entries in this view. So back to January's view for this month, I want to start filling this out. There's different fields that I can enter text into. And let's first change the title of this. I'm going to put today's date, January 9th, 2024. And Mood Upon Awakening, the example they gave had an emoji. So I'm going to pull up my emoji menu and just select one from here. And then I'm gonna just fill out some of these prompts. So what gave me energy, <laughs> coffee, what drained my energy, meetings, what I'm grateful for. Uh, it's winter right now where I am, so I'm grateful for sunshine. And uh, I can't think of anything for sentence of the day. These are just a to-do list for my priorities. I'm going to leave that blank for now. Okay, so now you can see on my card view, if I don't want to show all those relations, you can just show or hide them by using the toggle here. So I'll remove those dates so that you just see the title and the prompts that I filled out. If you want to make a new entry and you select the plus button, it will pop up with date and this, again, comes from the pre-made template. So to make it a little easier for me, I'm going to edit the template again. And this time for the mood, I don't want to have to open up the emoji menu every time. So I'm just going to put in some default choices and that way, whenever I make a new entry, I can just delete whichever emoji that I don't need. So now that I have some default emojis, I also want to change this. Instead of saying date, I'm just going to fill out January so that every time I open this, it's mostly filled out. and you can just edit this like every month. So for February, I'll just edit this again and change it to February instead of January. So now when I click the press button, you can see that it has those things already filled out, which is a lot easier and a great use for a template, right? So now I, if I just want to pick my mood, I can just delete the uh, options that I don't want for the emojis and I can continue filling out the rest of the form. So today I had a green tea latte. Okay, so that's how you fill out the daily journal. And then what's really nice about using any type in the grid view is that you can see the patterns of what your mood was on waking and what gave you energy and whatever other prompts that you have in your daily journal. Let's take a look at inserting images onto your pages. So I just open up my browser and let me find an image that I like. I'm going to go to uh, Unsplash and I like this winter sunshine photo. And so under photo of the day, I can enter the link here. And if I click shows in bed, nothing change. So <laughs> let me see. Let's try just pasting the URL here. Let's copy it from the browser and 
Um, I'm just going to put my cursor here and try to paste the URL and it gives me the options to paste as a link. And that's what it looks like. It's the full text URL. And then let's try create bookmark. Okay, and so it shows a little preview. And then let's try one more. I'm going to put a picture and let's upload the picture. Here it is in my local hard drive. And this is what it looks like if you upload the image to the page.